problem 14 determine the value of r this is that r so that the load of 20 ohm should draw maximum power this is the load so i need to find value of this r so that maximum power will be transferred to this 20 ohm load resistance next part the value of maximum power drawn by the load i need to calculate the maximum power at load according to maximum power transfer theorem maximum power will be transferred to load when load resistance will be equal to source resistance now what is source resistance source resistance is equivalent resistance of this part of the circuit so i need to calculate thevenin voltage of this part of the circuit as well as thevenin resistance of this part of the circuit and thevenin resistance of this part of the circuit will be equal to 20 ohm according to maximum power transfer theorem so first here i am calculating value of this resistance so my target is to find out rth to find rth i need to open load resistance say i have opened this part and the source will be replaced by its internal resistance so this will be short short circuit so now what is rth rth is the parallel combination of this r and 60 ohm so i am using r parallel 60 ohm this is the value now this rt should be equal to load resistance to get maximum power so this is equal to basically 20 ohm say this is, is equal to 20 ohm using this relation i got value of r is 30 ohm so the first answer the value of r should be 30 ohm to get maximum power at load 20 ohm now to find out the maximum power at load, I need to calculate VTH. See here, this is the same circuit. I have already calculated that value of this R will be 30 ohm. So to calculate VTH, the load has been removed and voltage across these two point is VTH. So what will be this voltage? This voltage is equal to current through this 60 ohm resistance multiplied by this 60 ohm. What is the current? This current is because of this 180 volt and that will flow through this direction. So 180 volt divided by full resistive path is the current. 180 divided by 30 plus 60 that is the current flowing through 60 ohm resistance. That current multiplied by 60 ohm is potential across this 60 ohm. So ultimately VTH is 120 volt. Now putting those values in equivalent circuit, VTH is 120 volt. RTS is 20 ohm, RL is 20 ohm. Ultimately, using this formula, I got maximum power at load is 180 watt. Now, checking whether my calculation is perfect or not. This is the equivalent circuit having same value as I have calculated. And this is the main circuit. Now, power at load in main circuit and power at load in equivalent circuit, if these two are same with value 180 watt, then it will be confirmed that my calculations are perfect. Running the simulation. So in main circuit it is showing power at load is 180 watt. In equivalent circuit it is showing power at load is 180 watt. So which of the calculations I have done all are perfect.